welcome to the lead uh, in this session we will learn about concepts of sustainability uh, after the course you will get a quiz uh, yeah, please answer the quiz it will be very much helpful for you in this video we will learn about uh, the triple bottom line system thinking feedback loops leverage points life cycle approach before we diving those issues uh, first we will know about sustain sustainability uh, what is sustainability according to epa sustainability creates and maintains the conditions under which humans and nature can exist in productive harmony that permit fulfilling the social economic and the other requirements of present and future generations sustainability is the development of a human which will not affect uh, nature uh, then is the sustainable design and green building concept uh, within the design industry sustainable design and sustainable building concept are interchangeable with the term green building which uh, actually the process that applies to buildings the sites their interiors their operations and the communities in which they are situated uh, actually green buildings are more efficient and use resources wisely as they take uh, energy water and materials into account uh, consideration of deeper, different aspects of a building or a green building before you start a green building you have to site select your site uh, you have to answer some question is the project a is a redevelopment in an urban area or does it support urban sprawl you know the effect of urban sprawl uh, how close is the project to public transportation to reduce the amount of cars coming and going design of the building system such as mechanical e equipment building envelope and uh, lighting system how do they work together integrately uh, construction processes are workers been exposed to harmful fumes and gases the construction processes uh, are okay that's all uh, fourth one is operation and maintenance when was the last time equipment was tested to ensure it is uh, performing appropriately last one is waste management how is construction was ad addressed what about the gar garbage generated during operation now the advantage of green building you know most the green most of the greenhouse are coming from the buildings uh, that is 38 percent is coming from our building uh, different type of system that, that is building systems and energy use transportation water use and treatment then cover change materials and construction from this uh, greenhouse gases emissions uh, starts uh, continue advantage of green building according to GSA uh, green building uh, effort 26 percent energy use reduction 33 percent lower carbon dioxide emissions 13 percent reduction in materials cost which reflect the benefits in the economic bottom line but these green buildings have also reduced their impact on the environment as well as demonstrated an improved indoor environment which increases the efficiency of the dwelling dweller of the building green buildings have resulted in 27 percent higher levels of satisfaction and allowed students and workers the opportunity to perform better now the triple bottom line green buildings are summarized in three components that is uh, environmental economic health and community for lead certification goals of a project begins with assessing the goals in comparison to the triple bottom line values the, here is the schematic uh, diagram of a triple bottom line you see the economic and social and environment and their uh, interrelation now the system thinking uh, system thinking uh, includes material resources energy people and information as well as the complex interaction and flows between these elements 
across space and through time this mater materials uh, the different components with the built environment do not work in isolation they work together this is the system thinking materials are released in some form of sewage solid waste or pollution is open system as material decays this is a when the material decays it it can be says it is an open system uh, if you try to uh, slow down the passing of materials and resources through the system you have to design closed system now the system thinking part is a positive feedback loop loop and negative feedback loop uh, positive feedback loop which continues positive feedback loops are perpetual and ongoing such as a population growth urban sprawl and climate change are all examples of positive feedback loops uh, now negative feedback loops in which the system is stabilized is negative feedback loop uh, thermostat as is an example of a negative feedback loop since the mechanical system is enable to self correct and in turn stabilize itself uh, from these uh, loops uh, our learning is considered office is see the our office system members of often just forget and do not shut off their computers at night because uh, they have no data available to, uh, we have no data available to convince them to use energy more efficiently uh, to defend this uh, we we just know about the prior price effect the key is to make the information not only available but as convenient this is known as the price effect if users are give real time information they tend to react and respond to the feedback loop uh, another such thing is leverage point uh, small if effect is small effect can do more to influence the behavior of a system it is important to find the leverage points places where a small intervention can yield large ch changes providing building occupants with real time energy influence is an example of using a leverage point to alter behavior now the life cycle approach green buildings projects are encouraged to question all phase of a project material or product and service what did it come from what happens to them after they are no longer useful what impacts do they have along the way the life cycle approach for a building starts before a site has been selected and continues through design construction operations refurbishment and renovation ideally a building's life cycle avoids demolition and the building is adapted and reused it is the main concept of life cycle approach think back to the concept of system thinking and close closing the system now the life cycle assessment life cycle assessment are just one type of trans transparency tools to help project teams make informed decision concerning material selection environmental product uh, declaration and the material ingredients disclosures also provide a comprehensive understanding of materials and products now the life cycle cost includes the purchase price fuel installation operation maintenance disposal finance charges and replacement cost for each technology and strategy proposed to determine the appropriateness of the solution specific to the project from an environmental and economic perspective uh, now the question is green do green buildings cost more uh, we know the there are two type of cost uh, while you try to build a building that is hard cost and soft cost uh, hard costs are defined as while soft costs are related to the fees for professional services including and legal and design design so uh, cost also soft costs also include uh, pre and post construction related expenses such as insurance before working on a green building project one might misconceive this concepts and 
process is to be a burdensome cost added on to a project's budget. This kind of mindset is lacking the long-term view of operational saving of high-performance equipment and system, such as a photovoltaic panels, high-efficiency mechanical system, or an indoor water wall to improve indoor air quality may not fit in a typical budget but if the utility cost saving were considered and evaluated either one might make more sense example a mechanical engineer may specify a large mechanical system than what is actually needed because they may not realize that high performance windows were specified by the architect along with building insulation with a higher R value. Remember, the economic bottom line is important, but a green building also evaluates the environmental and social impacts and benefits. That's all. Now the question. First question, which of the following is an environmental benefit of green building? A. Conserve natural resources, reduce solid waste, improve air and water quality, enhance and protect ecosystem and biodiversity or all of the above. The answer is all of the above. All of the four options listed are environmental benefits of green building design, construction and operational efforts. Second question is how much time on average do American spend indoors? 10%, 9%, 65%, 35%. It is 99% according to the EPA website. The question is according to the development of energies website, space heating is the largest energy use in the inverted resistors, followed by lighting. True or false? Answer is true. Because 38% of energy in the inverted resistors is used for space heating followed by lighting with 20% of energy uses so it is true first question which of the following describes a high performance screen building conserves water and energy uses spaces materials and resources efficiently minimize construction waste creates a healthy indoor environment or all of the above answer is all of the above as this option listed describes high performance green building strategies. Fifth question Which of the following statements are true? The statements are a, the built environment refers to any man made environment, the built environment refers to any element in nature, the built environment provides a structure for human activity, the built environment refers to animal made shelters. The built environment includes individual buildings and not neighborhoods. The answer is A and C. There is two answers. First one is the built environment refers to any man-made environment and the built environment uh, provides structure for human activity. Uh, when uh, you are studying about lead, you see multiple references to the built environment and must understand what the term is referring to. This question is when working on a green building project, when is the best time to incorporate an integrative design approach? Schematic design, construction documents, design development, beginning of construction, substantial completion. The answer is schematic design because uh, incorporating green building strategies and technologies is based started from the very beginning of the design process. Schematic design is the earliest phase of the design process and therefore the correct answer is a schematic design. Uh, seventh question life cycle assessments are a benefit sorry life cycle assessments are a beneficial tool to determine which of the following a environmental benefit and potential impacts of a material product or technology b economics of building systems during the life of the building 
C. Environmental impacts of materials during construction. D. Social impacts of policies during a fiscal year. E. Maintenance implications including cost during the life of the building. The answer is A. Environmental benefits and potential impacts of a material, products or technology. Because it is important to remember that life cycle assessment not only look at the present impacts and benefits during each phase of the process but future and potential impacts as well. The last question is the project team is looking to conduct a life cycle cost analysis as a method of a evaluating alternative flooring products. Which of the following should they take into consideration as inputs to that analysis? First cost excluding the cost of installation. First cost including the cost of insta installation, maintenance, life expectancy and replacement cost. Maintenance and replacement cost, but not life expectancy. The answer is two. This is B and C. First cost, including the cost of installation, and C, maintenance, life expectancy, and replacement cost. Because life cycle assessment include the purchase price, installation, operation, maintenance, and upgrade cost for each technology and institution strategy process that's all from my says thank you for your patience